What's up, guy and girl players of World of Warcraft? This is Rutaro, aka Taro, bringing you this week's WoW Report, episode 29. For more free WoW guides, check out my website at tarowowguides.com. In this Taro Weekly WoW Report, I'll cover the Cataclysm launch, Auction House Chaos, Leveling Outlook, as well as the Q&A session, so let's get started. In Cataclysm news, December 7th marked the launch for World of Warcraft's newest expansion, and if you were one of the crazy players like myself to be logged in when Kata was released, you would have gotten to experience the utter chaos of trying to level with a million people wanting to do the same thing. I thought I'd be genius and get 25 dailies turned in before making my way to Orgrimmar. Oh yeah, I had it all planned out. Until I realized I wasn't getting any EXP. No EXP, that's right. What was this madness? I relogged to try to fix it with no luck and figured they just blocked it on purpose. I ended up just heading to Orgrimmar to get my Azeroth flying. That was tons of fun watching everyone trying to click on the trainer and was more difficult than downing the Farian for most. Luckily though, a simple macro bypassed that headache pretty easily. From there, it was off to some questing in Mount Hyjal that was filled with fun mob camping just to get a quest done and to find out it didn't reward any EXP either. Fail. After a little bit though, EXP was fixed or unblocked and everyone was on their way to level 85. If you're wondering what the leveling time is like for 80 to 85, it's not bad at all. It takes about an hour and a half to 81, three and a half hours to 82, four and a half to 83, five hours to 84, and seven hours to 85. I suggest only doing dungeons once with all the quests they offer. Questing has proved to be the fastest, although some zones kinda end abruptly and you gotta search for the next quest hub within the zone. Hopefully the questing developers will fix this in a later patch. Also, if you're wondering who got Worlds first to level 85, it was none other than Athene and his basic strat was so simple that it was overlooked by 99% of other players. He actually used this strat before and all he did was change out where he was doing it. Basically all he did was go to Twilight Highlands, find a fast spawning area with lots of mobs, leave the raid, tag all the mobs and let the raid kill them. He did this for a measly 5 hours and bam, level 85. Grats to Athene, but I think the real winners are the ones who helped them actually get there. They're the ones I want to grad since they took their time from leveling and sleep. For anyone still leveling, good luck and be sure to have fun enjoying all the new zones. Alright, now on to Auction House news. Things are pretty chaotic as expected and anyone pansy footing around worried about prices is likely to be way behind. Gold making is cake right now and if you have any gathering profession I suggest you do that non-stop as I'm making thousands and thousands per hour on my miner. This won't last forever though so you gotta get moving now as prices are already falling. Pyrite ore has been the exception to this rule since no one could use it right off the bat it was dirt cheap. Cheaper than elementium and obsidian. I bought it right up. It is now twice as much on my server, around 400 gold per stack since a lot of blacksmiths and jewel crafters are starting to use it. Everything on the auction house for Cata levels is selling like mad and while a lot are overpriced, a lot are also underpriced. Take a look at these uncommon cut gems. They're now selling for 9 to 10 gold apiece and whoever is selling these needs to cancel the auctions and vendor them. You're wasting your time since they vendor for 9 gold each. These gems should cost at least 20 gold for that sort of vendor price. Rare uncut gems are also underpriced for the most part as selling an amber jewel for 30 to 40 gold is more than half of what it should go for with current pricing. These prices will go up as people get gear and jewel crafters get new cuts. Prices will continue to be insane up and down for the next few weeks as things settle down. So what should you be doing with your professions? It's fairly simple really since everything is so new but you should be careful and check the going rate of items before making them. All gatherers should be gathering while prices and demand are super high. Crafters have it a bit more difficult but you should be doing everything to get your professions up to a profitable skill level if they aren't already. I'll have more specifics on my website's blog all this week where I go over what's hot and what's not. Moving on to Blizzard news, a few contests were added for this holiday season. A holiday card and dessert contest that have some pretty awesome prizes from Razer and some signed collector's edition games. Holiday cards and desserts must be based on Diablo, Starcraft, or Warcraft universes. You can find a template for the holiday card on the contest webpage and I'll link both contests on my blog as well. 
Entries are due by December 16th, so you'll have to hurry and good luck to all who enter. Finally, I'd like to end this Tarot Weekly Wild Report answering a few questions you guys and girls have asked me over the last week. Are you updating guides for Cataclysm? Yes, I am making videos and have already updated a lot of my website for all professions 1 to 525. They are all being adjusted over the next week and everything should be up to date very soon. My leveling guides will always be geared towards ease of use and getting as much gold back as possible. What computer specs do I need for Cataclysm? It's really hard to say and depends on what you want out of the game and what your budget is. Tom's Hardware posted a really nice post about Cataclysm that is a good read for anyone in the market of buying a new computer or looking to put one on their Christmas list. I'll put a link to it on my blog. How long did it take you to get to 85? It took me about 19 hours playtime. I'd like to hear if any of you got rum first for anything so let me know in the comments. What do you think of Cataclysm so far? I think this is one of the best expansions yet and just needs a few tweaks and adjustments. What do you all think about it? Let me know in the comments. I'll have some more releases in the next few weeks so check my website at tarawildguides.com for updates. Well that's it for this week of Tara's Weekly WoW Report and I hope you liked it. Stay on top of the news, economy, and updates of WoW with Tara's Weekly WoW Report. Please subscribe and visit tarawildguides.com for more free WoW guides and news. Thanks for watching. Now go! Tell me what you think of anything featured in this week's Tara's Weekly WoW Report in the comment section below. Personally, I'm pretty overwhelmed with all the new content, but I'm having a blast.